Okay, so we're going to try to uh, look at the assessment, the assignment for topic 2.4. It's on page 67, and it's question number four, and uh, it's about balancing these neutralization reactions. Now, neutralization reactions are a reaction that's very special because what, what it does is it takes an acid right here, HBr hydrobromic acid. How do I know it's an acid? It's got this hydrogen here. And it's going to react with a base, potassium hydroxide, right here. How do I know it's a base? It's got the OH together, oxygen hydrogen called hydroxide. That's in the uh, video lessons that I created for this topic. And it's also in the uh, textbook reading and the summary note. What is produced? Well, an ionic compound is produced, a metal with a non-metal. Now, when it's formed from a neutralization reaction, they're usually, this ionic compound is usually called a salt, and it's potassium bromide. And then water, HOH. Don't be confused about water being written HOH. It's just water. Look, here's one hydrogen at the front, there's one hydrogen at the end, and an oxygen in the middle. Another way of writing it is H2O. It's just sometimes more convenient to write it as HOH because it shows that the hydrogen came from the acid, the hydroxide, OH, came from the base, and they got together to form water. And then the bromine non-metal came from the acid, the potassium uh, metal came from the base, and they got together to make the salt potassium bromide. And that's repeated here, acid, hydrofluoric acid right here, plus the base, the base iron hydroxide, it's an iron hydroxide, produces the salt, iron fluoride, and HOH, water. Similarly, H, acid, hydrochloric acid, reacts with calcium hydroxide, there's the OH hydroxide. The metal and the non-metal, the calcium and the chlorine get together here and form calcium chloride the salt and water, HOH. Now the question here was about balancing this, which is really part of the previous topic, but it's good practice for us, it's good practice. So the way I look at this is I say, look, I've got one hydrogen all by itself here and one hydrogen all by itself here. So one hydrogen here, because there's a one there, but it's not written. One hydrogen here, but there's a one there and it's not written. So hydrogens are balanced on both sides. I have the same number of hydrogens on their own on the product side, excuse me, on the reactant side as there is on the product side. So then I look at the bromines. Now there's a one here, but it's not written. One bromine is here and one bromine is here. You've got to remember that even though it's not written down here, there's a one here. We always start with a one. That goes back to topic 2.3. So there's a one there, right? So one times one, one hydrogen. One times one, one hydrogen. One times one, one bromine. One times one, one bromine. How about potassium? Well, remember, there's a one here. It's just not written. And there's a one here. It's just not written. So one times one potassium, one times one potassium. So the hydrogen is the same on each side. The bromines are the same on each side. The, the potassium is the same on, the, on both sides. All we have left is hydroxide, OH. How many OHs together are over here? Well, one times one of each of these. And look, one times one of each of these. It's balanced. So now we get to this side here. And if you take a look right off the bat here, uh, we can start by saying to ourselves, look, to make life easy for ourselves, let's assume there's a one there. They're probably going to be changed, but let's assume there's a one there. And as a reminder, as a reminder, let's remember that to the right of these, if there isn't a number there, there's a one. It's just not written, but there's a one to the right of each of these. Okay, and so on. All right just so we remember. Well, looking at this here, I, I notice that there's one times one, uh, gives me one iron, Fe is iron on this side, and look, one times one 
iron on this side. Okay, so the irons are good here. They're all balanced up. That's terrific. What about fluorine on this side? Well, look, you go one times three, three fluorine. Over here, I've got one times one. One times one, one fluorine. I need three of them. So as so often happens in balancing equations, we erase that and we put a three in here. So now three times the one gives me three fluorine. One times the three gives me three fluorine. So fluorine is balanced. But we got an issue here. We got an issue here. By putting a three out in front here, that three also multiplies the one for hydrogen. So I've got three hydrogen all by itself on the reactant side. Look over here on the product side. One times one. That's only one hydrogen. It's not balanced. So as so often happens in balancing equations, you got to erase that and put in a three in here to make the balancing happen. Look, three times one, three hydrogen, three times one, three hydrogen. So, so far, the hydrogens are balanced and the fluorine, F, is balanced. That's great. What about the iron? Well, we saw that before. One times one, one iron, that's balanced. One times one, one iron, it's balanced. How about the OHs that are together here? Well, there's three of them. Look, this three applies to everything in the bracket. And look here. There's a three that multiplies the OH here. It's balanced. So that's how you would do that. Now, I strongly suggest that you pause the video before I show you how to do the last one. It's good, it's good practice for you. Hey, pause the video. Okay, I hope you paused the video and came back. Here we go. So as always, we start with a one here, a one there. It's not written, but it's there. One, one. Just to start. It's there, but it's not written. And also, there's a one there. It's not written for the hydrogen. Cl is chlorine. There's a one there. Ca is calcium. There's a one there. This two applies to everything in the bracket. Ca one there, one calcium, one hydrogen, and so on, okay? So, if you take a look at this right off the bat, I, I, I've got one times two, two chlorine on the product side. I only have one times one, one chlorine on the reactant side, so I'm going to have to erase that. Boom, gone and put a three out front there, excuse me, a two out front there. So now look, I've got two times one, two CLs, two chlorines. One times two, two CLs, two chlorines. But by putting a two out here, now I've got two times one, two hydrogen. I only got one times one, one hydrogen there. So as always happens so often, I gotta get rid of that one. Oopsie, did I not pick the eraser there? Come on. Eraser, here we go. And I got to change that to a two. So now look, I've got two times one, two hydrogen on the product side, two times one, two hydrogen on the reactant side. So now the hydrogen's good, chlorine's good. How about the calciums? One times one, one calcium, one CA. One times one CA, one CA, one cal calcium's good. How about the hydroxide that makes this a base, the OH that makes it a base? Look, one times two is two, and then two multiplies this whole thing in the bracket. So I've got two of these OHs. How about over here? Oh, look, lucky, lucky us. Two goes to, to this. There's two OHs on this side, two hydroxide. It's balanced. So that's how we balance these. There you have it. Hope this helped. Have a great day. Bye-bye.